What's going on guys, this is Sam, and welcome to the first iOS update of 2018. It's iOS 11.2.2, a very small update, very small in size and what it changes, but very important at the same time. As usual, this update is available for all iOS devices capable of running iOS 11, and the change log reads as follows. iOS 11.2.2 provides a security update and is recommended for all users. For more information on the security content of Apple software updates, please visit the website below. Now, for whatever reason, Apple never really highlights exactly what changes in the change log. That would only make too much sense. So to find out what actually changed in this update, we have to head over to Apple's official security site. And Apple does confirm here that iOS 11.2.2 addresses the relatively large Spectre vulnerability security flaw that was discovered a few days back. In very brief terms, Spectre is a hardware vulnerability, meaning that it doesn't affect just Apple or just Microsoft or just Google. It affects pretty much every device made in recent history. This affects Intel processors, ARM processors and AMD processors as well. If you want a really detailed explanation about what it is, what it means, the other exploit called Meltdown discovered alongside of it, click in the top right hand corner of the screen on the eye icon. I made a super in-depth video about Spectre and about Meltdown and you can learn all about the two and what they exactly mean in that video. For now, just know that they are a big deal. They affect most devices, whether it be an Apple product or a Microsoft product, a Google product or really anything else. But all you should know for right now is that it is a big security flaw because if someone happened to install a malicious application on your device, they could potentially have access to photos, emails, messages, passwords, everything that you don't want a random attacker to have access to. So I would recommend updating immediately because Spectre is a big deal and uh, it's nice to see that Apple took the time to address it right away rather than letting the issue go on discovered for a really long time and having an iOS update come out in a few weeks rather than just a couple of days. One other thing that's really important to note here with the Spectre fix in iOS 11.2.2 is that Apple had to do a workaround slash mitigation, meaning that this is not a solid hardware fix. Because it's a hardware issue, you can't fix that entirely through software. So they're mitigating the issue, they're making the processor work a little bit differently to make sure that the Spectre issue is corrected. And that means that you're actually gonna get less than a 2.5% performance reduction on the Jetstream benchmark. You can go to like the Jetstream website and test it out. In day-to-day -day usage, there is no way you're going to notice this performance reduction in iOS 11.2.2, but nonetheless, it is there and I wanted to let you know about that. It's still very important that you update. This is the small price we pay for safer devices and I think that's not a bad trade-off at all. So as of right now, that is everything you should know about iOS 11.2.2 and the Spectre vulnerability. If you enjoyed watching this video, it does help me out if you take just one second to drop a like down below. And of course, hit subscribe for more videos like this in the future. If you'd like to help me out and support the channel, you can head over to iUpdateOS.com slash merch. Use coupon code iOS for 10% off of your order. Buy a hoodie or a t-shirt and that would really help me out as well. I've been Sam. I hope all of you are doing great and I'll talk to you in my next video.